Before we get started on the video, I would like to take a moment to say thanks to all my patrons, because I wouldn't be able to keep making these videos if it wasn't for you, so thank you so much for all your support. I'd also like to say thanks to Richard and Joshua for their tier 3 sub this month, and special thanks to James, Revita and Modella for their tier 4 sub this month. So without further ado, let's get started on the video. In this lecture, we're going to create our punch animation. And to do that, we open up Unity, we select our rig, we go all the way down here to our animations and create a new clip called Punch. Punch is going to be divided into two things like a body punch and a leg punch. Um, but for now, let's just keep it as a complete animation and then we will divide it later. The first thing we have to do is to get him ready to punch. And when this fox is ready to punch, he will have his arms up and ready to attack, right? So one arm would be covering the chin and the other one should get ready to punch. The left arm here. If we select Rick here and enable our gizmos, we should be able to take the, well this is actually the right arm, right? Yeah. So the right arm, we will be able to take that and move it a bit forward maybe to get ready. And then we take this arm, oops, and of course you need to do the right thing. You need to click the record button because if you don't record, then you're not going to create your animation. So good that I saw that. So we take the arm, move it a bit forward like this maybe, and then we take the shoulder Maybe lower arm, sorry, and move it a bit down. And actually, I'm not happy with the tail now because I can see like through it here. So I can also take the tail and move it a bit forward here. Um, and this arm should actually be going up to get ready to punch, right? So I would like to take it and move it a bit down here. So this is actually a very hard animation to do. So it's not like we we might not be able to do it just in one go. We might be able to create the full thing and then adjust it along the way I think so that's one arm I think getting ready to punch the other arm over here isn't that it yeah we have it over here and we can take that and move it upwards here and move up this arm to also get it ready to, to block something or just like have it up at your chin so that if someone punches back or punches you then you should be able to block it do like that. I'm not sure where's the where it is. Okay. And if you have a hard time seeing how it looks, you can just disable it gizmos and see if it, you're okay with it. Um, I think I'm okay with this. Maybe I want to make this a bit more up. There we go. So this would be, I think, an okay starting position for punching this shoulder. Oh, this elbow looks a bit odd though. A little bit back there. And I think I am okay with this position right now when he starts to punch, just takes up both both hands here and gets ready to punch. With his arms up, we will have to get ready to punch and we will do that at about 0 020. So move your timeline out to 0 020 to click there. And when we get ready to punch, we just move our back a bit backwards here. You see he starts to punch like that, but he will also like to take this arm. And maybe this is a bit too much actually, let's just move a bit forward. Doesn't need to move a lot when he when he starts to punch the like first movement. And when he does that, he would take this arm here and move it maybe big down and a bit backwards here. Or actually not down though. Just move it backwards like that with the body to get ready to like cover his head. So I think that's okay. That's zero twenty. Then we'll have to move on to 0 30 here. And about 0 30, he will start his forward punching or move forward towards the actual punch. So now he has winded up and he's ready to punch. So when he punches, I want him to move his leg at the same time, like the left uh, right leg it is here. So right here, I am going to select the right leg and move it a bit backward like that. And you'll see when I do that, it would start moving it from the get-go right here after 0, 0 to 0, 20. So we need to create or set this, the default position of this leg here at 0, 20. So we select, fire right, copy it, control C and go here and say control V so that the leg will not move until we move past 0, 20. So we start here 
wind up and we start our punch. What else are we going to do? We're going to move forward. So right here. Going to take the torso again and move it a bit forward. And I think I want to be a bit more forward than the standard position. So here we wind up and move forward. For ready for our punch. Then we also need to move our arms. So this arm here should cover it, this, the face. And we can do that by rotating the arm lift, rotating upwards maybe, like so. And I'm not sure how it's going to look because this one might be a bit odd. So actually we can also take the whole shoulder, maybe rotate it a bit up like that. Mm, so and we can also rotate it backwards. Like that, so now it actually just covers the face. I'm not sure if this one, it moves already here. So you can see the right shoulder here has a, uh, this one, shoulder lift, sorry, doesn't have a position over here. So we take the default value, copy it and paste it there. So that we move backwards and then we cover. So we'll move the gizmo so it looks like this. We start here, wind up, cover while getting ready to punch. So this arm is not moving, it's like it's frozen right now. Doesn't do anything at all. So we need to, of course, do something with that arm and it, it needs to get ready for a punch. So we enable the gizmos and take this shoulder here and move it forward actually. Right there. Maybe a bit down. Actually, it's just keeping the same little about there. Um, and you can see when I do that, it is using this shoulder rotation. So I take that and copy it. Oops, that's wrong. I take it and copy it and move here. Paste it there. So it moves forward only after shield 20. And then it also needs to rotate up a bit. And again, we have this rotation. Take the original one copy it and paste the 20. So we rotate it out and the lower arm here needs to extend now a bit like that to get ready to throw the right punch. There I think. So the lower arm here, select these two with holding shift down, select the two of them. Click here and paste. So we go back and punch forward. Let's see here how it looks now. Remove the gizmos, lean back, and punch forward. So you can see the jacket here is not with it. So of course we need to extend that as well. But for now, it, I'm pretty satisfied with this. So how do we extend the jacket? Well, we select the, which one is it? Shoulder left, I guess. Oh, that's left, so it's mirrored, so right. Show the right, and there is an arm and there is a hand, so the shoulder itself is this. So there should be a jacket right. That's what I meant. So jacket right here is what we need to extend, so we can set the scale to 1.455 or something, um, and then we can move it forward so that it fits the right position there. And then you'll see there should be something with the jacket right here. It extends it right away, so we can take these two, copy them, and paste them at zero 20. So if we play it now, we will wind up and start punching, and the jacket will go with it forward. So maybe the arm is a bit too much forward. This one, uh, this one here, so we can move it. Bit back so the jacket follows the jacket better. And again, as I said earlier, um, this will be something we will have to, might have to adjust later. So there, wind up, punch. So with that done, we can move on to the next step, and that would be at zero forty. 
at this point I think I want to extend my back leg a bit further or like my right leg a bit more so I take this leg in the gizmos and rotate it up a bit more like that I think yeah something like that and of course we can adjust that if it looks odd when we do it um, and again if you have some things that are moving out from the beginning after you change something here you need to copy the original values and paste them here anyway that's the leg then we need to extend the arm for the final punch position so i think i am going to stretch it all the way out like this the arm and then i'm going to point it in this angle maybe move it a bit down like that and it looks like I have key, um, keys for all these I have changed so far. So let's see how it looks. Wind up, punch all the way forward here. And with that punch, I also need to move the jacket. So this one needs to extend even further. So the jacket would be jacket right. One point, I don't know. 90 instead and then move it forward make it forward here there so how does that look I will disable the gizmos so punch it's fine and then this other hand here I would like for it to just Cover a bit more so I can maybe move it a bit more up something like that and then move it in here I don't know doesn't really matter it's okay yeah I think that's fine so yeah move it in punch and then the of course the torso or something should also think move a bit more forward so select our torso maybe move a bit more in so now when I do that see the punch gets pretty low so I also want to adjust my arm like that yeah and I think I am pretty happy with this maybe can also maybe go down in my front leg or something so here I could do something like what is this this own leg so I take this whole thing start I feel like I want to go downwards with my torso or something so if I do like this maybe move a bit down here and then I can take this Like the whole leg here, maybe not the leg. Can I? This one, okay. So if I try to move this, I try to put this here so I have the bottom of my foot there, then I can maybe move this downwards and then move the leg upwards again so it has the right position still. Right there. And then we see where is it this this one here it's a new one so we copy that and paste it here so let's see what happens here so now the torso moves let's see here everything that's over here should also be there there's one here we don't have copy it and paste it there one where we don't have there copy it and paste it there there's also one there And I think that is it. Okay. So if we move the gizmos now, punch, see like we give a bit here on the leg. It's fine. So um, if you've noticed, he, he moves a bit on his front leg when he attacks. If you're not happy with it, you can select the leg, have this 
move to open and then you can maybe move it a bit back and then just run the animation and see that it slides less and less just keep moving it back a bit until you're happy with the result still moves a bit moves very little now go all the way to the end and put more back very little so you can just keep adjusting this until you have so now it doesn't move at all basically and you won't be able to see that little movement when you play the animation from out here there we go so that's the punch animation so now that the animation is done we can start dividing it so you stop the recording also we actually need to take the front here or the, the beginning copy it and move all the way to about one and paste it there so that we can loop this if we want to or we, we can do this probably uh, end it correctly so that it finishes here and goes back to the original position so if we didn't have this it would not it would just jump from this to idle or something but we'd like to him for him to go back to his punch ready position here and with that done we can click here create a new clip and let's see here um, animations and this on the scripts that's actually weird so we take the punch here and move it into assets animations complete here and then we go into body and make a body underscore punch And then we go to the punch animation, control A, control C, and go to body underscore punch and put it, in, put it in there. And then we select everything that has something to do with legs. So thigh, I guess, would be, oh, that's him moving backwards. Um, so let's see here, we have leg, delete that key. Leg, right, oops, we just delete it all together. And this like there, we'd also like to remove that. So let's see here. Mm, that would be style right, so delete that. File it, yeah, we also need to delete that. Torso is fine. Tail, that should also be body. So jacket, jacket, shoulder, arm, shoulder, and that is. So those two were the only ones we needed to delete because now he's punching without moving his legs. Then we go in and create a new animation and we go into animations, legs and call one called legs underscore punch. And then we paste everything again and we have thighs here. So everything else down here needs to be deleted. So we only have the legs doing like that. So we will never play this alone without the upper body, but we need it to be separated so that we can play something else. So he's walking and punching and so on. That is it for this video. Now we have an upper and lower body animation for making the fox punch. In the next video, we are going to implement these animations on the animator so that we can use a keybind to trigger this animation. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.